Hey guys, Iowa Crypto Mining here. So today we're going to be switching most of these GPUs over and mine a new coin I have never mined before because there was a new miner release, the G Miner, that opened up uh, some new possibilities. So let's get to the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay guys, we are an, in my Hive OS, and first off, I want to apologize for my last video. Uh, being a new new YouTuber and being kind of the first time making videos and that kind of stuff, I overlooked the resolution of my spreadsheet and uh, just my screen in general. So I apologize, and there are certain community members that called me out, made fun of me, but then help me and show me, told me what to do going forward. So hopefully this is better. Uh, this screen and the writing on it is big enough that my neighbor across the street can read my monitor because it is huge, but hopefully it makes it easy so you guys can read it. So uh, let's continue here. So what we're talking about is G minor 3.3.1 and uh, here is their Bitcoin forum. So in 3.30, Con they did Conflux, Casper, and Zill. That's what they just released. And I had been using G Miner on 3.2.8 to do Ergo plus Casper plus Zill. And I've been doing it for over a month now, and it's been outstanding. And so when they released this, I wanted to test it. And so that's what we have today. Now, the good thing is Hive OS, if you have the newest version that came out a couple days ago, it has 3.3.1 automatically uh, installed. So you don't have to do anything special. There's no special commands like there is sometimes. So as long as you update your Hive OS on your rigs to the newest you know, uh, version, you're going to be fine. So let's uh, look at the flight sheet is the tough part. And then I'll go over clocks for different cards. So here is the flight sheet. Um, what you want to do is pretty much straightforward here in the beginning. And then the the add the zill in. So this is straightforward. You fill in the second coin. It will it'll be un unfilled in. So you have filled this in. And then here is where you add the zill server that you're gonna use. And then the, your username, your user, which is your wallet. So this is your your wallet address. And then we'll talk about the intensity here. And currently I'm using intensity dual intensity seven. And I had tested out three through seven and so we'll look at those results here too so this is the hive os uh, flight sheet pretty straightforward nothing too crazy complex here okay um and then we're gonna look at clocks so this is triple mining so conflux is actually it's pretty memory intensive think of ethereum think of ergo and so actually i had my ergo clocks uh, for my triple mining, I just use the exact same clocks to move them over. Move them over. I won't say it's the most efficient, but it's working pretty well. So here, DEP one is my 3070 rig. Okay, so here's my clocks: uh, 150 core, 2400 in the memory, and then I power limit at 145. Okay, and I, and I leave this here. I don't have it change for Zill or anything like that. So my Zill might not be as good as it would be back in the day on ethereum instead of like 62 i'm getting probably 59 60 but it's making it more stable because it's not switching clocks all the time and so this is where that is at currently and then uh so that's 3070s we'll look at 3060 ti's so there's a 3060 ti rig of mine uh, the clocks are 150 core 2400 memory 145 power limit okay 3070 Ti is this. So 150 core, 2400 memory, 215 is my power limit. And then 3080s. So there's my 3080 rig, 150. And then uh, try 2400, uh, but I, this one GPU is, gives me a little trouble, so I have it on 2200. And then 245 power limit. Okay, so somewhere in that vicinity, you'll be fine. Okay, and so that is the clocks. Now let's look at the profitability sheet. So this is uh, what I shared in one of my past videos is my profitability sheet that I made um, and I've added 
triple mining to it. So if we look down here in the very bottom, here is triple mining. And here's me going through all the intensities. So there's intensity three, four, five, six, and then seven. And then I actually and checked all the clocks uh, for each GPU. And I did the average of what, you know, if I have 17, 30, 60 TIs, I did the average of it, 30, uh, 30, 70s, 30, 70 TIs and 30, 80s. So I did the average of these to then get these revenue numbers. So it's not every card is going to be this amount, but that was the average of what I had. Uh, and I had a decent amount of each. So it, it averaged out pretty well. So as we can see here, uh, dual intensity seven is the best. Now I did not try eight and nine. I didn't have time, but, uh, that, uh, but, but seven was better than six. So maybe try out seven. I think you can do like 0.5. I think you do like 7.5. Um, I saw, I did it on auto the very first time and it actually did like 3.8 and 3.9, uh, intensity. So I think you can dual intensity, uh, in between, uh, the main numbers, uh, like a seven, 7.5 or 7.7, see what you want to do. It's not going to change it too much. You know, these are set and a half difference but maybe it's worth it to you to play around with it. So right now that's where I found my best setting at. So the real question is, you know, what's the, what's the uh, profitability on these compared, uh, triple mining compared to just Caspa, just Nexa, or like my triple mining when I was doing Ergo, Caspa and, and Zill. So over here, we'll go down here a little bit. So let's look at just Caspa. And now my clocks are a little behind. I think I could get a little bit more. It's been a while since I just solo mined Caspa. So I think this could be just a little bit better, but it is actually quite a bit behind currently on uh, Conflux, Caspa, and Zill. Okay, so even if I got this up to like 12 or 13, got up, you know, five, 10% better, it's still way behind. Uh, and all of this is with uh, nine and a half cent power. That's what I use for my GPUs. So if I change this, it'll probably change the rest of these quite a bit to where one of these coins is better than the other. But in general, you know, it's, this is going to be very profitable. So, uh, I had, uh, a community member that all of you guys know, call me out and say Nexa was the most profitable. Now Nexa right now is killing it. It is way up there in price. And so it is almost double what it was a week ago in profitability. And I think the hash rate is going to catch up and and make this, and, and the price probably will quit at some point and the hash rate will catch up. So even now with Nexa being insane right now, it is still not as profitable triple mining um, uh, as it is triple mining. So here is the profit for the month for my GPUs. I am better off paying a little bit more power, but actually you know, I want to net more money. So that's where I, we're at currently. And I did this at nine o'clock, uh, on, uh, today's Thursday, it's uh, Thursday night here. So this could change as by tomorrow morning, but this is as of nine o'clock and actually Casper had come down too. So Casper wasn't as crazy as it was. Um, so yeah, that is, you know what the profitability looks like right now. It is awesome. So if you're at that lower power, price uh and you have th three uh three thousand series uh nvidia cards this is i think in, the way to go in conclusion here this is the most profitable right now is to triple mine C conflux caspa and then zill uh i currently am cashing everything out to bitcoin and actually buying uh asics with my bitcoin to get my uh get my shed filled up i have looked at gpus um and there's a couple I'm keeping in mind, but as of now, I don't trust that this will be as profitable continuously as what Bitcoin has been. So maybe, maybe it'll be something I will regret, but I don't think Bitcoin, Bitcoin's a safer choice is kind of what I'm thinking at. So that's my thought process. Uh, but yeah, this is triple mining, Conflux and Caspa and Zill. And if you guys have any more questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for checking out the video. Have a good day.